Police called on a Walmart customer right, because Walmart, he was close to an Kirk associate. Dog, and they saying I'm scaring the associate. Here we go. Yes, I haven't done anything yes, wrong. No, sir. But you end up scaring the associate, and they kind of want you to, like, because you scared him, kind of want you out. So, so I got to leave this. Uh, what did I do, bro? You ended up getting really close to an associate, like almost a hurdling over. Him. You, like, you saw it on camera. Show me the camera. I can if you want to come back to my office. Yeah, come on, bro. Let's go. I gotta let you know you can't record in the office because there is information. There. Man, I'm you know what's happening. I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't say anything to anybody. I know, but I'm scaring the associate. You're scaring the associate, my boss. What? Which associate? What did I do? The male associate in electronics. What did I do to him? He was taking a picture of one of the uh, electronics items over there because he's into. He's and I came too close to him. And you got really close to him. And you just, like, leaned over him and everything. We have it on camera. Okay, well let's see. Mm. Yeah, let's see, bro. Yeah. Come Either on, way, bro. like they, they, like he wants to have you trespass and. I, I haven't done anything to anybody, bro. I'm shopping for what I need. I understand. I understand. But like I said, that's just how it is. Y'all that racist, bro? No. Did I say anything to him? You ended up scaring him, man. Did I say anything to him? Did I touch him? Did I do anything to anybody? As far as I know, no, you didn't. That's why they called. That's why they called me up and they said, hey, just watch this guy. And, I'll, and they were like, hey, but he got really close. I got close. So if you shopping and I'm shopping, it's something that I'm looking at. Hey, this this could be something I want. I might want this. You were like this. You were like this. Like that. You got really close to me. See how close I am to you? That's annoying, right? Yeah. That's not annoying. I mean, It's a public store. If you want, you might be looking at something I'm looking at. You might be interested in this. This might be the last thing, bro. If you looking at it and I'm looking at it, you don't want it, but I want it. Man, come on, bro. That's bullshit, bro. I understand, man. But I got to do my job, you know? Man, that's bullshit, bro. Come on, bro. I ain't say nothing to nobody. Did I touch him? Did I touch him? Did I brush up against him? No, boss, man. As far as I know, I just, I know Come what on, I've been man. That's bullshit, bro. That's bullshit, man. I ain't say nothing to nobody. I ain't do nothing to nobody, man. I understand, boss. Shopping mind of my business, man. I ain't do nothing to nobody, bro. I ain't say nothing to nobody, man. I'm trying to get what I need and get up out of here, bro. How you doing? I got a brother that's a sheriff, man. Mm -hmm. I, I have a brother that's a sheriff. So, I'm not talking um, about anybody. Um, they called us and said they wanted you trespass. So, so they want to make a report and all that. No, no, they just want you trespass. So, trespass is just basically it's just hey, can't come back here. They trying to mark me off from coming here ever again. Not ever again for a period of up to two years. Two years. Yeah. I haven't done anything, bro. I didn't see any cameras. I don't know, but I, I know what I'm Bro, I can see if I was stealing, I really came and pushed them or said something. Mm -hmm. to, oh, man, that's I bullshit, saying, bro. But at the end of the day, man, a, a, in the state of Texas, a business has the right to refuse and trespass anybody for any reason that they deem fit. They've deemed it enough to, to trespass you, okay? So it's just kind of, it's a piece of paper. Pretty much it says, hey, just don't come back to the store. For so they're telling me not to come back to the store. Walmart on Kirk and Dahl. I haven't done anything to anybody. I haven't done anything to anybody. I can't argue about it or nothing, bro. They, they saying they just going to kick me out of the store for two years. Where's the employee that said that? I don't know. Why can't he come to me and say, hey, bro, you you, I felt uncomfortable. Don't do that again. No. And it's over with. He, went to a city he get the sheriff, the uh, the constable. Man, come on, bro. What kind of shit is that? He felt like I came too close to him, so I'm trespassed now. What kind of shit is that? I'm not sure, man. But we're gonna do everything within the law on our end. We're just that's not that's that's him. that's not the law on y'all end. Y'all get down to the bottom of it. Y'all get him to come talk to me. He'll come tell me, hey, man. You got too close to me over there. And I tell him, hey, I apologize. I mean, I'm look, sorry, I didn't mean like that. We don't do that. We just come, we answer the, the call for service, and that's the end of it. If so he, he called y'all. No action. So y'all weren't y'all y'all weren't here. He called y'all to come up here. Yeah. Otherwise, and he felt uncomfortable. He called y'all to come up here and say he was uncomfortable. At Walmart called us up here. I don't think he called Are you serious? Here. Yeah. Are you serious? Do you really think we'd be here talking to you if I was lying? Bro, they had somebody got killed in this parking lot a year ago. Mm -hmm. Got into it with the police and all that shit, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't did nothing to nobody. I know better than to come up in here and mess up. I'm okay. black. I'm a black male in America. I know better than to mess up anywhere I go. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to come here and mess with somebody? I have no idea. Man, come on, bro. First time in, like I said, I ain't seen no cameras, but that's, this that's, is what Walmart's saying. This man, is that's BS, dog. That's BS.
I ain't said nothing to them. Nobody. I ain't no woman, no male here. Whenever I go out in public, I respect everybody, bro. Hey, I hear you. Hey, we'll you uh, I just talked to the, to the loss prevention uh, personnel right here. I did uh, advise him on what we observed today. Okay. You are fine. You go about your day. You purchase it, whatever you need to. I can, I can get what I need. You get whatever you need to. Okay. And you enjoy your day. Okay. okay. Right, Am I banned for two years and all that? There was no coming on. So okay. No coming Can you talk to the employee man and, and no, let them know that I didn't mean any harm to nobody, bro? Yeah, we're going to go do that for you, okay? Yeah. There's I, nothing coming that has happened here. Um, like I say, sometimes people perceive things in the wrong way. Yeah, tell them, man. I didn't I didn't say nothing to them. I don't mean no harm to nobody, bro. I know. Okay. I said, like, when, I, like uh, when they told me about it, I thought it was a weird situation for the way he described it and everything. And I saw it on camera. Yeah. He may have blew it up out of proportion. But I'm just doing my job, you know. I understand. When they, when they call me up. I, I got to go do my thing, you know. Yeah, I understand. And I said, bro, I ain't mean them no harm. Tell them I apologize if I offended him. I'll let him know. Let, let him know, know. I, I apologize and I didn't mean to get too close to him. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, you're All good right. to do your thing, man. All right, All right. tell him I'm sorry, man. Tell him I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, though, man. I'm no, sorry. I tell him I'm sorry. Uh, I ain't. Mean